Hi, hello children. How are you all? Welcome back to my class. Today in this class, we are going to continue our same lesson of maths. That is five-digit numbers. That is our first unit, right? So open page number one. Here it is. There, page number one, chapter one, five-digit numbers. So children, already we have started this lesson. We have completed this revision exercise, and even we have solved first and second main from exercise one point. One right. So now let's move with the third man. So write the following numbers in the expanded form. Expanded means to spread. Okay. So here they have given this number. You have to write its expanded form. So here you can see the example, isn't it? So leave it. We'll take the this one only. Okay. So first one we'll take. Can you read this number? It is nineteen thousand two hundred three, isn't it? So write this number here. So here it is at nineteen thousand two hundred and three. So let's expand it. So first, you have to start from the number which is in the highest place. Okay. So you need ten hundred thousand, ten thousand. So one into what is the place of the one thousand here? I mean, sorry, one here that is ten thousand, right? So you need ten hundred thousand, ten thousand. So I'll write here ten thousand. Okay, so after three, I mean after hundred, you have to put the comma. Then we have finished with this one first. Now come to the second one. So nine. So first I have to write the plus. Okay, then nine into. Okay, now you tell me in which place nine is there? You need ten hundred thousand thousand, right? So we'll write thousand here. Okay, so then we'll put the comma after hundred, then plus. Now we have finished with this one. Now two, okay. So we'll write two here in two. Now you tell me in which place two is there? You need ten hundred. So I'll write one hundred here plus zero, isn't it? So I'll write zero in two. In which place zero is there? You need ten. So I'll write ten plus so three. We'll write three here in two. What is the place? I mean, in which place three is there? Unit. So one. So you can see unit ten hundred thousand ten thousand. So now this is called the expanded form. Okay. You have to start from the number which is in the highest place. So here, which is the number in the highest place? That is nineteen thousand, right? So see, so this is the thousand. Sorry, ten thousand. Okay. So let's take another example here. We'll take this one. Can you read this number here? Yes, seventy-seven thousand seven hundred seventy-seven, isn't it? So let's write it here. So here I have written. So let's expand it. So children, along with me, you also try to solve it. Okay. So first one, which number I have to take? This one or this one? Yes, this one. The number which is in the highest place. So seven into What is the place of seven here? This last unit ten hundred thousand ten thousand. So we'll write ten thousand here. So where have to put the comma after hundred after three digit, right? So plus we have to put the plus after completion. Ah, uh, I mean after completing this first number. I mean the number which is the highest place. Now come to the next number. So this one. So we'll write seven into. Yes. Now tell me in which place this seven is there. You need ten hundred thousand, so I'll write one thousand. So here I have to put the comma, right? Yes. Then again plus. Next after this one, this number that is seven into in which place the seven is there? Yes. You need ten hundred, so hundred I'll write here. Then plus. Now this seven. Okay, we have completed with this. Now come to the next one. So this seven, so I'll write here into in which place the seven is there? You need ten, so ten places is there. So plus next this seven, so seven I will write here. So what is the place of this seven? It is unit so into one. So this is the expanded form of that is seventy-seven thousand seven hundred seventy-seven. Okay, now let's take this example. Can you read it? Thirty-eight is thousand two hundred ninety-four. Right. So I'll write this number here. So here I have written that. Now which number I have to take? You only tell me. Yes, three, right? So I'll write three here. Plus 
So I'll write 3 here. Into in which place this 3 is there? Unit 10, 100,000, 10,000. Yes, 10,000. Right, where I have to put the this one comma after 3, I mean after 100. So, unit 10, 100. Then, plus, correct? Yes, now, which number I have to take? 8, very good. So, I will write 8 here. In 2, in which place 8 is there? Unit 10, 100,000. So, I will write 1000 here. Then, where I have to put the comma? Yes, after 2, num I mean after 10 or 100. Yes, after 100, after 3 digits, right? So, plus, then, 2, write 2 here. What is the place of 2? Unit 10, 100. So, into 100, plus, then, which number I have to take after 2? 9. So, 9 I will write here. Into, what is the place of 9? Very good, 10. Then, plus again, what is, then we have to take which number? Last remaining number, that is 4. So, I'll write 4 here. What is the place value of 4? It is 1. So, this is called the expanded form. Is that clear? Okay. So now, open page number 14. Just turn the page. So, next fourth main. Write the following expanded form of numbers in the standard form. So, here they have given the numbers in the expanded form and you have to write it in the standard form. And here what we have done in the previous main, they have given in the like a uh, standard form and we have written in the expanded form, isn't it? But here they have given the ex uh, standard form, we have to write in the, sorry, they have given the expanded form, we have to write in the standard form, okay? So, we will take this first example, can you see here? Yes, so first one. Yes, can you see this number here? The same example I have written here. So, 7 into 10,000 plus 2 into 1,000 plus 8 into 100 plus 3 into 10 plus 8 into 1. So, here the simple thing you have to multiply this number with this. So, here 7, 0, 0, 7, 0, 0, 7, 0, 0, 7, 0, 0, 7, 0, 0, 7, 0, 0, 7, 1, 0, 7. Complete. Then plus, then 2, 0, 0. 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, 2, 1, 2, finished, then plus 8, 0, 0, 8, 0, 0, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, then 2, then 8, then 3, then 8. So, what is the answer? First, you uh, put the comma. Okay. So, after 100 place. So, you need 10, 100. So, now can you read this? 72,838 is the answer. This is the standard form and this is the expanded form. Right? Yes. So, now we will take another example. So, children, here it is a second one. And one more easy method is that I will show you directly how you can write the answer. Okay, just see here. 4 into 10,000 plus 0 into 1,000 plus 0 into 1,000 plus 0 into 10 into plus 1 into 1. So, just write down this number, the first number after the plus here. The first, which is the first year, 4. I will write 4 here. Then, sorry, here. Then, after plus 0, then after plus 0, first this 4, 0, then 0, then after plus again 0, yes, then after plus, what is the number here? Plus 1, right, so see here, 4, 0, then this 0, then this 0, then 1. So, what is your answer? First, put the comma here. 40,001. Right? So, 40,001 is your answer. So, one more is there, children. Can you see here? 6 into 10,000 plus 3 into 1,000 plus 5 into 100 plus 1 into 10 plus 7 into unit. Unit means 1. What? It is 1. Isn't it? So, we will write this example here. So, here I have written the same example. So, can you see it is 6 into 10,000. So, you can write this in the 
number so 6 into 10,000 10,000 right so put the comma plus 3 into 1000 1000 then put the comma plus 5 as it is into 100 100 it is right so plus then 1 into 10 yes 1 here 1 into 10 plus 7 into unit means what 1 so 1 yes now can you solve it easily yes so let's solve it so 600 zero, zero, 600 zero, zero, 600 zero, zero, 600 zero, zero, 6 ones are 6 plus 300 zero, 300 zero, 300 zero, 3 ones are 3 then plus 500 zero, zero, 500 zero, zero, 5 ones are 5 plus 100 zero, zero, 1 ones are 1 plus 7 ones are 7 now you have to add all this number. Already have shown you how you can add, right? So, you have to write this first number. I mean, the number which is in the highest place. Just write down all these numbers and you will get the answer. So, 6, 3, 5, 1, 7. Yes. So, first put the comma. What is your answer? 63,517. Isn't it? So, 63,517 is your answer. Okay. So, let's move to the next one. Yes, so fourth one is there. So here only I will show you how you can write in an easy way. Okay, so 1 into 10,000 plus 1 into 1,000 plus 4 into 100 plus 7 into 10 plus 4 into unit. So directly you can write the numbers here. Okay, so here what is this? 1, we will write 1. Next, into 10,000 then plus 1, again 1. Then plus 4, 4 I will write here. Then 7 I will write here. Directly you can write. Then 4 I will write here. Then put the comma. Then this is your answer. That is 11,474. 11,474 is your answer. This is how you can solve. Okay. Is that clear? Yes. Now next move to the fifth main. Yes. Fifth main. Form the greatest and the smallest five digit numbers using the following digits without repetition. So, here they have given the numbers. So, using these numbers, you have to make the five digit greatest and the five digit smallest numbers. And you are not supposed to repeat the same number again. Okay. Without repetition. So, let's do it one here. So, we'll take the second one because already they have done the first one. So, still we are having four more to do. So, we'll take the second one. So, 8, 1, 6, 2, 5. Right. So, let's do it. So, first one. Here you can see we have to make the greatest number. So, you have to see which is the greatest number among these numbers. Which is the highest number here. So, 8. I'll write 8 here. Then after 8, which is the highest number here? 6. So, 6. After 6, which is the highest number? 5, 2, 1. Yes, 5. Then after 5, which is the highest? 2 or 1? 2. Then after 2, 1. Right? Yes. So now let's put the comma. So 86,521 is the greatest. Now let's write the smallest number. Yes. So now you tell me which is the smallest number among these numbers? 1. Right? I'll write 1. Then. So after 1, which is the smallest number after 1 here? 2 is the smallest number. I will write 2. Then after 2, which is the smallest number? 5, 6, 8. 5. I will write 5 here. Then after 5, which is the smallest? 6 or 8? Yes, 6. So I will write 6 here. Then after 6, which is the highest? Uh, sorry, smallest number. So of course the remaining that is 8 only. Right? So yes. What is our answer here? Can you read it now? 12,568. So, greatest number is 86,521 and the smallest is 12,568. Okay, now let's move to the next one. 70613. So, which is the greatest number here? 7 or 6? Yes, 7, right? So, I'll write 7 here. After 7, which is the greatest? 6013. 6. After 6, which is greatest number? 1303. 3. After 3, 1 or 0? 1. After 1, 0. Right. Now, let's put the comma. So, can you read this number? 76,310. Now, let's make the smallest number. Which is the smallest here? 0 is the smallest here. So, I'll write 0 here. Then, after 0, which is smallest? 
वन इज स्मॉलेस्ट आफ्टर वन विच इज स्मॉलेस्ट थ्री सिक्स सेवन थ्री इज स्मॉलेस्ट आफ्टर थ्री विच इज स्मॉलेस्ट सिक्स और सेवन सिक्स इज स्मॉलेस्ट देन आफ्टर सिक्स अफकोर्स द रिमेनिंग दैट इज सेवन सो लेट्स पुट द कॉमा हियर कैन यू रीड दिस नंबर ना यूनिट टेन हंड्रेड थाउजेंड टेन थाउजेंड सो जीरो इट इज इन द टेन थाउजेंड प्लेस मीन्स इट इज नॉट हैविंग एनी ऑफ द वैल्यू राइट इफ इट कम्स बिफोर द नंबर इट डजेंट शो एनी वैल्यू इफ इट कम्स आफ्टर द नंबर ऑफकोर्स इट शोज द वैल्यू राइट सो हियर इफ यू सी यूनिट टेन हंड्रेड थाउजेंड वन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी सेवन सो दिस इज फोर डिजिट इज देर यूनिट टेन हंड्रेड थाउजेंड ओके सो वॉट इज युअर क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू मेक द स्मॉलेस्ट फाइव डिजिट एंड द ग्रेटेस्ट फाइव डिजिट सो नाउ इट इज अ फाइव फोर डिजिट ना हाउ वी कैन मेक इट इन टू फाइव डिजिट नंबर मीन्स वॉट यू हैव टू डू सो फर्स्ट जीरो इज देर द स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर आफ्टर जीरो यू हैव टू सी विच नंबर इज देर आफ्टर जीरो विच इज द स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर यूर येस आफ्टर जीरो ऑफकोर्स वन इज देर राइट सो फर्स्ट वील राइट वन देन आफ्टर वर्ड्स यू हैव टू राइट द जीरो Okay, first you have to write after zero. You have to see which is the smallest number. That you have to write. Then afterwards you have to write the zero. Okay, next after this, which is the smallest one is. Okay, one is one already have written and zero already have written. Now three six seven, which is the smallest? Three is the smallest. I write three here. Then after three, which is smallest here? Six or seven? Six is smallest. Then last one seven. So let's put the comma. Can you read this number now? Ten thousand three hundred sixty seven. Just see here the place. You need ten hundred thousand, ten thousand one, two, three, four, five. So it is a five-digit number. So this is fourth. So this is we are not supposed to write like this. First we have to read the question. It is they are asking five digits. So you have to. This is how you have to make the five-digit smallest or five-digit greatest number. Okay. So next one. Let's take the fourth one. Six four five seven zero. Okay. So here which is the greatest number here? Among all these numbers, seven, right? So right, seven here. After seven, six, isn't it? Now you only have to tell me. After six, four, no, five, good. After four, zero is the highest number. Then after zero, sorry, four, four. After four, zero. So let's put the comma. Seventy-six thousand five hundred. Forty, right? Now let's make the smallest number. Here also we are having zero. Means which number have to take first? While writing the smallest number, so zero is there. You are not supposed to take the zero. If you take the zero again, it will become four-digit number. So leave the zero after zero, which is the smallest number here. Four is the smallest number, right? So I'll write four here. Then after four, you have to write the zero. Okay, so four zero. So leave it. Then after this one, four, which is smallest? Six five four. So five is the smallest. Then after five, six or seven six. Then after six seven, right? Let's put the comma. So can you read this number now? Forty thousand five hundred sixty-seven, isn't it? Now let's move to the last fifth one. Two five seven three four. Now you only have to tell me which number I have to write first in the greatest five-digit number seven. So I'll write seven. Then after seven, five three four two five. Then after five, yes four three two four. Then after four. Three two three. Then of course last the remaining two. Now let's put the comma. So seventy four thousand four hundred thirty two. Right. So smallest number. So which is smallest number here? Three four seven five two. So twelve right here. Then after two, which is smallest? Three is the smallest. Yes. After three, seven. No four. Right. Yes four. Then after four, which is smallest here? Five seven. Five or seven five. Then last one seven. So let's put the comma. So can you read this number now? It is twenty three thousand four hundred seventy. Sorry, fifty seven. Twenty three thousand four hundred fifty seven. So this is greatest and this is the smallest number. How we can form? Okay, is that clear? Yes. yes. So children, today we have completed third, fourth, and the fifth main from exercise one point one. in the next class we are going to continue with the next mains okay so till then take care of yourself be with me and how do you feel about my videos let me know in the comment section and one more thing you will get the previous video link in my description box just go through it and if you think this video is really useful to you then don't forget to like share and do subscribe my channel till then bye bye